and a very warm welcome to episode 44 of my Doll's House Diary. Now today I'm back up in the guest bedroom and I want to add a mirror to the chimney breast and a painting to this wall here. And for the painting I'm going to ask Matt to paint something special for me. So I've got here these metal frames and these are mini Mundus frames and they originally come in gold and they've got a lovely weight to them and I've got quite a few of these and I've had them for quite a while. I painted these as well quite a while ago using a ivory humbrol enamel paint but I've just gone over them using my North Pole white just to brighten them up a bit because I've got the white coving and skirting in that room or the white woodwork the creamy looked quite yellow next to it so I just used that paint and did another coat over the top but I, was al I would always recommend using an enamel paint first on metal rather than emulsion but as a top coat if you just want to touch up a colour then that works quite well. So for this one I'm going to add a piece of mirror sheet and I've cut the mirror sheet but I made a bit of a mess of one side but luckily that still fits into the frame and because there's a ridge around the back or a lip around the back the um, sort of cracked edge can't really be seen and if I have it in the room so that this side is sort of facing outwards then that's not going to be seen at all so I'll fit that in there and then for this one I'm going to ask Matt if he'll paint me a water lilies style painting and I want something with lots of pinks different sort of shades of pink and some lovely greens in there as well so let me go and ask him nicely if he'll do that for me. So Julie's asked me to do a painting for her for her bedroom in their doll's house. So I've actually found this little image online here. It's just a, a basic water lily image. I think it's from Shutterstock. But I'll be just using this as a base. I'll probably change it a little bit more paler. Little, sort of matching with the colours of the actual bedroom. Um, but this will just be for general layout. Uh, I'll be painting on a 300 GSM card, which I like to use. It's a water colour card, but I'll be using acrylics on that to give it a bit more of a oil sort of finish. This is the frame Julie's uh, given me. It's a metal frame. I've cut the actual card to fit in there nicely and just done a very faint pencil line around the outside edge to give me my border, but I'll go over that edge so it's a nice sort of uh, fit into the frame when it's painted. So I'm basically just going to lightly sketch, it's just a HP pencil, pinched off Julie. I'm just going to lightly sketch out the actual basic layout. Again, it's not going to be uh, exact, it's just going to be like a rule of thumb sort of layout. The waterline goes on the back over there. Let me just do that to give it a bit more perspective. Some reeds. And these will all be the lilies here. Then I may do some very faint grass or reeds at the front there. So that's going to be the general layout. As you can see, and then we'll have the uh, flowers dotted about. But we'll do that in paint. But this is not going to be as dark as this, I don't want it black as this. I'm going to go for more of a impressionist sort of style rather than a realist sort of style. So there's a basic layout of a rock there. Some reeds there, waterline there with some reeds, lilies and reeds there. Okay, so we're going to get out the acrylic paints and we'll get started. Okay, so I'm starting with just a little bit of emerald green. And it's going to be a very basic colour palette. As you can see there the colours. It's going to be uh, light blue, medium blue and a dark blue, sap green and an emerald green, some white and some crimson red. We only need a very small amount. It's going to be more of a um, impressionist sort of style painting. So what I'm actually doing now is I'm just actually blocking in some of the uh, lilies, water lilies, just to get a general sort of feel of where I actually want to put any of the other colour. I'm not going to go too mad with it to start with, because then I'll be doing some... Uh, Shading underneath the actual lilies, well, and some highlights, 
maybe add a little bit more white over the top to give it a bit of a sort of a reflection sort of look from the water. And the actual lilies will be getting slightly larger as we get close to the foreground. On this sort of scale as well I don't fully mix, if I'm adding a white to the green I don't actually fully mix the actual paint so it gives it more of a marble sort of look on your paintbrush. As you can see there it's not completely mixed. It's focusing on that and it gives you that sort of textured sort of look, especially on uh, things that are close to the actual foreground. I'll be going in between this all again with blue, a very very pale blue and then I'll be going in, so basically we're going to be working from light to dark so we'll do all the light colours first and then we'll go over the top with the darker colours to give it more depth and go slightly over the edge there because that's our borderline and with green there so again this is just the basic colour and we'll be adding detail as we go along Again, it's just blocking it all out. So as you can see we've made a little bit more progress. Still blocking a little bit of colour, but now I'm going in with a little bit of white just to create the illusion of water rippling across the surface. Not too much. Little highlights here and there. And as we go back into the distance we make it paler. So it gives that illusion of depth. Something like that. So I'm starting to add a little bit more detail in colour now. I've started to add some, uh, some pink lilies to the uh, lily pads. I'm just starting off with a pale pink first. You may have noticed that I've done the um, little rock there as well. I did that in a little bit of burnt sienna and some uh, burnt umber as well just underneath to give it a bit of shadow. I've just gone underneath it in a minute with a little bit of white just to uh, highlight it, give it a bit of a sheen as well underneath. So just add a few more the actual uh, lilies. Start off with a pale pink first. A bit bigger in the foreground of course. And then we go in a little bit Slightly darker pink. Just add a little bit of detail. Something like that. So there we are, pretty much finished. Nice little abstract water lily pond. And there is the completed painting and I'm really pleased with that so a huge thank you to Matt for taking the time to do that and for allowing me to film him <laughs> while he was doing it. So I'm now going to get this framed and then we could get it hung in the guest bedroom. So I'm actually just using a little bit of wood glue around the inside edge of the frame just to hold the painting in place. some masking tape across the back to secure it in there permanently. So I'm putting some masking tape across here now and you want to make sure that it's going all the way across and actually on to the frame. And then I'm going to put a couple of pieces going down as well. Like that. So I framed the mirror as well. 
and I did that in the same way but I actually used a little bit of super glue around the outside edge or in that lip of the frame and again I've put the tape going across and down just to make that nice and secure and luckily you couldn't at all see the little cracks along the edge of the frame so that worked out really nicely. Okay so let's go and get these into place in the guest bedroom. So I couldn't actually have the camera in the room at the same time as fitting those because I couldn't fit my hands in to give them a good sort of press against the wall but what I've done is use wood glue to attach those and that works well with the masking tape on the back. And I've just stuck the flowers back there and I think they look really nice with the reflection in the mirror as well. And then the painting I am just so so pleased with because the colours just go beautifully against the teal green of the wall and I just think that looks perfect there. Um, I can't wait to do a little display on top of the chest of drawers now but I'm really pleased with that and that room is just coming together really nicely now. Still lots more to do but I think the mirror and especially the painting just add such a lovely detail. Now if you like the look of Matt's paintings there are some available for sale in my Etsy shop and you'll find a link to the Etsy shop below but if you'd like him to do something in particular for you then you can just drop me a message and I'll pass it on to him and you can either send a, an image through on email of what you would like or you might just say you'd like a, a seascape or a landscape or a, a woodland or something like that and I'm sure he'll come up with something wonderful for you as he has done for me so thanks again to Matt for doing that for me and that's it for today so I really hope you've enjoyed this episode do let Matt know what you thought of it <laughs> and I'll be back soon with another episode of my doll's house diary so until then, take care. Bye.